Hello. Uh, good morning. Can I speak to Jude, please? Speaking. Jude, it's Jason speaking from the Top 40 magazine in South Africa. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Good. Are you ready to do your interview? Uh, yeah, yeah. Got you up bright and early, eh? Hey? <laughs> I had to get up anyway. Oh, right, yes. <laughs> Have a cup of tea and start your day. Exactly. Well, congratulations, first off. Uh -huh. On the new album, I can't believe that there's 22 tracks on it, but there are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of them are very short. Yes, yes, but it's... Uh, yeah, yes, value for money. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of think, there's 22 on there, there must be one that... Be there, you know. <laughs> well, I think so, I think there's uh, there's certainly more than one. Uh -huh. um, but I was actually, um, yesterday, just reading through... Um, through the sort of release notes that come with it, um, uh -huh. which you could either read as a bag or just uh, um, someone sort of um, having, you know, um, almost living what would seem to be the Chumbawamba ethos, you know, about, uh -huh. about having, having fun. Which yes, definitely. And is this album, it's certainly from, from the tracks that are on it, and I think from a lyrical point of view, again, is uh, very much, uh, you know, there's a, as I say, the enjoyment factor would seem to be king. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously we are a political band and everything, and I think people often think we're going to, you know, we're these terribly serious and, you know, having fun isn't on the agenda, but mm. obviously for us, you know, the most important thing for us is, is having fun and enjoying, you know, and enjoying what we do. Mm. You know, there's a lot of humour on the album. Yes. And people sometimes think, oh, it's just, you know, heavy politics and that. Mm. Mm. But yeah, you know, because obviously we're in a band, you know, <laughs> chosen to kind of be in a pop group, so obviously having fun is, is one of the things you want to do. And as you say, I mean, uh, lyrically as well, I mean, even just if you take a song title, um, um, as I say, I mean, do you, do you think that, uh, that, you know, that, uh, that people um, appreciate your honesty? Our honesty? Yes. In what sense? Um, just from being able to sort of, um, well, I think just generally putting out a message in my mind, the way I read it is that, um, that you, first you should be able to sort of uh, be able to laugh at yourself and actually call a spade a spade in a lot uh -huh. of respects. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I hope people will sort of pick up on that. I mean, I think sometimes, you know, we have a funny relationship with the sort of music press over here who uh, who don't like our honesty or, or anything much about us, really. Uh, mm. <laughs> yeah, it's, I think you're in the wrong country, eh? Hey? Well, <laughs> arguably, yeah. <laughs> we do far more stuff abroad than we do than we do in Britain. Yes. It's quite a fickle sort of music scene in Britain, really. And it, and it, it doesn't seem to be changing, does it? Not really, no. Mm. It's very mm. sort of fad-driven, you know. Yes. And I don't know what it's like in South Africa, but, you know, the singles charts over here are just, it's just totally kind of boy bands and girl bands and, you know, these utterly manufactured sort of... Yes, the Steps and the uh, yeah. S Club 7s and yeah, all the others. All of that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really bizarre. Well, but it's just, you know, it's like everything else, really, isn't it? It's like the marketing men have moved in and kind of thought, oh, I get it, this mm. is what you do, and they've just kind of started doing something to a formula. Yes, yes, but, um, well, I mean, would, you know, having said that, would you say that, I mean, there's, there's certainly some sort of a, I don't know if you'd call it a formula, but Chamberwam would certainly have a, um, a sound that, um, I think um, the biggest part of the first world only really got to sort of um, get an earful yeah. um, about three, four years ago, as much yeah. as the band's been going for, you know, for as many years as you have. Yes, yes, it's true, actually. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go as far as to call it a formula, because I think we do try and change how we do things. Yes. Album to album, but... You have a sound. But I, but I do think, we, you know, it, it would be disingenuous to sort of say we haven't got a sound, because we have. You yes. Know, people sort of go, well, you know, you listen to the first, you know, half a minute of the of the CD, and you know it's Chumbawamba. Yes. You know, and yeah, you know, I mean that's partly because it's, you know, there's there's things that we like. You know, it's like well, we like big choruses and we like sort of harmonies and you know, and it, and it's what we do well and and all the rest of it. So yeah, we do kind of have a sound, you know, but it's but I guess it kind of is quite a difficult one to categorise. Yes, or to pen, yeah. It's like it's a bit eclectic and it's a bit of. You know, it's like, oh, you can tell it's a Chumbawamba record because it's got all sorts of different styles, mm, isn't it? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Reflecting our, you know, our love of pop music of the past 50 years, I suppose. Yes, yes. You know, and the fact that there's eight people in the band who all kind of have slightly different 
taste and a lot of those get reflected on the album. Mm, mm. <laughs> now, on, on the back of um, the success of the last album, which, yeah. as I say, I mean, and, and I mean, I mean, I, um, it's been discussed and discussed and discussed, but it, yeah. it was a case of um, all of a sudden you, you know, you became sort of media darlings. You were on MTV, you were everywhere. Yeah. Um, what was that like? I mean, was that, <laughs> were you sort of going, weird. what? <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. I mean, it was great. I mean, I think in a way, you know, it just sort of happened, really. I mean, people had kind of been saying Top Thumping were going to be mm. a hit. Mm. And they were like, yeah, you know, maybe. But, I don't, you know, I don't think any of us kind of realised what hit, you know, what worldwide hit. Yeah, it was going to be. Mm. But it was, um, it was fascinating, to be honest. It was a fascinating kind of, you know, step inside the door of, mm. you know, of, mm. of sort of the pop industry and rock and roll and all the rest of mm. it. Mm. Um, you know, utterly utterly strange and, and very and very tiring at times but, sure. uh, but it was brilliant mm. you know I mean but obviously you know now we're this band who's who's had that hit you yes. know so everything you do subsequently is related yes back to that because obviously you know making this album was like oh god you know what do we do now mm. Cause, you know because there's a certain well you're expectation a bit sort of almost if you do and damned if you don't in a way. yes yeah you, you make kind of tub thumper mark two and reproduce that successful formula but in a rather more calculating way or, mm. or do you just go you know totally out there and do sort of completely a different. tonal string quartet mm. Mm. thing mm. You know. and what did so you I obviously we kind of had to discuss all of that before we mm. before we started recording because I mean this album isn't isn't radically different in any 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 way I mean sort of you know I mean it's you, you haven't gone out and, and bought out a punk album or, you know... No, you know, you that's have probably the next one's going to be <laughs> radically different. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not radically different, but it is... You know, we did we did actually ditch quite a lot of stuff mm -hmm. when we sort of started writing because um, cause it was all sounding a bit too much, mm. you know, like Tub Thumper Mark II. Mm. You know, it's still very much still a pop album in the same way yes. that Tub Thumper was a pop album. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think the kind of... The scope of it's broader, I think, mm. in terms of what it's talking about, mm. probably. Mm. You know, which again was a conscious decision because it was conscious with Hub Thumper that we wanted to kind of do stuff. It was very much sort of Northern England and and all the rest of it, whereas this is much more, you know, it's much broader. Mm. Mm. Did did you find yourself sort of in a place where where the world all of a sudden was was listening and was interested in what Chumbawamba were doing uh, to the yeah. point that you exploited that you thought, well, okay, this is our one. Uh, you know, this is our road in. Yeah. Um, let's, you know, let's not exploit it, but let's let's get that base well, as big as it could be. On it. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we did in a way, because, you know, one of the things that happened with, with Top Thumper was it it suddenly, you know, it did present us with this massive opportunity. You know, mm. it suddenly, you know, we'd say something and, you know, and instead of just saying it to kind of a small magazine or whatever, we were saying it on kind of, you know, primetime American TV. Yes. You know, so... So, you know, so it was an opportunity not to be, you know, not to be missed and, you know, because obviously if you, you know, if you kind of think, well, you've, you've got things you want to say and you've got a message or mm. whatever, then it was, you know, it was absolutely brilliant mm. for us to kind of, you know, go on, you know, go on something like, you know, we'd, we'd find ourselves in these weird positions where we'd be on something like Rosie O'Donnell's show in the States, you know, and uh, you'd play your song and you'd do your two-minute interview and you'd find yourself talking about anarchism for yeah. minutes. Yes. You know, and it's like, wow, mm, you know, mm. what what an opportunity, mm. really. So, yeah, we did uh, <laughs> we did sort of make the most of it, definitely. So, I mean, so the message is still very strong for you. It's Absolutely, yeah. You haven't sold out and become cheap pop stars. No, <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, mm. you know, obviously we, you know, there was a lot of kind of discussion and deliberation about this whole signing to a major record label yes. thing initially, and, and then we did it, and then we had this big hit, and... But it's like, I think, you know, if you sign to a major record label and start getting an amount of success, you can you can either think, oh, right, well, i better kind of be careful now and protect my position yes. and make sure I stay here or whatever. Or you can just think, well, this is great, you know, and we're just going to carry on doing what we do and, if, you know, and just sort of see what the next, the next stage brings. And I don't think any of us are kind of thinking, oh, we must definitely stay on EMI forever now. Yes. You know, it's just like, this is where we happen to be at the moment. Mm. You know, it, it's working out fine for now. And, you know, we'll just carry on. And, you know, we're not under any illusions that, like, you know, if we're not selling enough albums or whatever, we wouldn't get dropped or, mm. or mm. that we might decide to leave at some mm. point. We'll just go on and do 
the next bit, you know, so we haven't kind of got, in, got into a position of, you know, relative success and, and suddenly, you know, got all conservative in order to mm, yeah, make in order sure we can maintain it. We're not really career pop stars, really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but then it must be difficult to say being in the position that you are where you're being um, perceived, or not being perceived, but uh, based on the success that you're enjoying and even on, you know, with the new single, it's a case that you do get pushed into that, in, into that market as being career pop stars because in order to, you know, just based on the success that you've had. Yeah, but I mean, I think, you know, we, we still do pretty much do what we want, you know. I mean, mm. even since we've been on EMI, we've done a kind of a few little projects outside mm. of, you know, outside of the record company and, you know, so we, we are still pretty much doing what we want to do. And is that respected by EMI? At the moment, it is, yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's a <laughs> really. Mm. You know, because we were, one of the things we were thinking with the new album, we were like, oh God, we're going to get tons of record company pressure mm. or whatever. And to be honest with EMI, you know, with the new album, they, ne they never heard a note of it or anything or saw the artwork or anything until we'd finished it and we just went, well, here it is. Mm. Here's the album, here's the cover, you know. And they didn't, they didn't kind of interfere at all, mm. which mm. was, I mean, I wouldn't have got anywhere had they done so, but, you know, we were kind of quite pleasantly surprised that they didn't. Mm. It's not to say that, I, you know. No, sure. You but know, I mean, that, that that might not happen in the future, but, uh, you know, so we, ha we do still have a lot of artistic control, which was... Which is good. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And did you find a lot of people wanting to work with you on the back of Tab Thumping? Sort of like, okay, well, yeah, let me produce you, let me do oh, this, right. or... Yeah, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bit of a shame. I should say we were sort of turning down William Orbit or something, but yes. we weren't. Can, can. I mean, we've always produced our own. Yes, stuff, that's what so, I'm saying, yeah. You know, so for us it would have been weird, I think. Yes. I don't think ever anyone even considered it. But yeah. no, so you know, so this album's still produced by a. You know, we can't quite let go of our sort of DIY paths in a way. Yes. You know what I mean? Of like, we want to do it all... All yourselves. Ourselves, yeah, so. yeah. Is it sort of annoying in some ways that, I mean, you've been, you know, you you know, you, you have you have so much material even prior to tub thumping and uh, uh, that you sort of going, well, you know, you know, it's like bugger bugger because, you know, what we were doing and maybe in, in the band's mind some of the earlier stuff was the better stuff and, and, and that was never given the kind of critical acclaim that, uh, you know, that that album was and probably this album will be. Mm. Yes, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, I think you just can't do anything about that, really. No, you know, no. that's just the way of it. And it's and it's not like we were kind of, you know, living in utter obscurity before Top Sun. No, no, no. And in Europe, you know, we had yes. a kind of a good base, size, yes. Sort of, yeah, solid following. So, mm. yeah, I mean, it, it, it's interesting because it was interesting, you know, when we were doing gigs on the back of Top Sun, but, you know, you'd be kind of doing a a gig in Germany or something and there'd be loads of people there and knew all the old stuff and yes. you know, knew about the kind of politics of the band and, yes. you know, and then you'd be doing a gig in the States and you could see that people just wanted to hear Top Thumper. Yeah, well you were a new band to them. Yeah, mm. I know, so that was, you know, that was really weird. Because mm -hmm. you know, we did put out a, um, a sort of retrospective yes. here called Uneasy Listening. That's right. partly That's to right. kind of address that. Yes. You know, which was great, actually. To put us in a context, if you like. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. So now the balance of the year is it a case of uh, you know uh, transversing the world and uh, and going to as many places to to sort of spread the message? Um, for this year, well, I, I think yeah, hopefully not to quite the same degree as we did. No, have something. No, it'll probably kill you. Yeah, shattered by that. But uh, yeah, you know, we're we're kind of like we're off to Japan next week, and we're, you know we're doing loads of festivals and stuff around yes. Europe, so, uh, you know, so, so we're back, we're back and out in action again now. Good, <laughs> good, so we might, yeah. so, we, we, to the point that we might get to see you down in South Africa at some point? Yeah, who knows, yeah, we've not, we've not been, have we? It kind no. of kept nearly coming up, you know, a couple of years ago, it yes. sort of appearing on the agenda and then slipping off. Slipping again. off, so we've got yeah. to work at that. <laughs> <laughs> And do you think the new album will do well, sort of um, live? I mean, is it is it a set that you've I mean uh, that you've done? Uh, well, we're actually sort of rehearsing at the moment. We're sort of working on all the live stuff, and I think I think it's gonna I think it's gonna sound good. Yeah, right. I'm quite excited about it at the moment. Right, right. Yeah. Because it, it, it's always been interesting to me that um, your um, your voice has always been sort of the, um, the the well not well not the melodic but sort of almost the 
the, the, the sensible part of... Right, that's Lou, actually. It's not me. I'm just a backing... Oh, oh, right, OK. Sorry, apologies. So apologies. Lose the yes, Lou, right. About, yeah. Yeah, you see, there's too many of you. That's the problem. I know. <laughs> <laughs> <It's amazing. laughs> but no, I mean, it's because it's... Uh, I've always, you know, uh, I mean, I've been listening to, to the band for quite a few years, but there's right. there's sort of an, an odd sensibility about it, but um, also sort of, um, you know, a, a quirky madness as well, which... Uh, but, but the marriage of, of all the personalities in the band um, make it obviously what it is. Yeah. But... Um, I think um, it, it, it opens you, well, opens the band to certainly being able to, I think, actually tackle anything. We, yeah, we, apart from perhaps speed metal and free jazz. Yes, yes. Sister. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but everything else will have a crack at it. Yes, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah, because we have got sort of, as you say, we've got all those kind of different types of voices and, you know, and styles that people like to play. In, yes. So there's not much we won't. Won't know. try. Yeah, we'll have a go at it. Well, you've got 22 attempts on the new album. <laughs> and um, as I say, uh, is there a band favourite on, on the album that... Uh, that oh, I don't know, really. I mean, I always find with me that it varies, you know, kind of when I first hear it, there'll be a track that's my favourite, and then, you know, a couple of months down the line, there'll be something else that, that I really like. Because when we were... Um, I think we've all got different favourites. Sure. When we were sort of... You know, we were kind of talking about singles and all the rest of it right. and we all had totally different ideas you know so I think we've all got different because in a way I mean I know the word concept album conjures up uh, you know bad uh, images but in a way it's like I find it quite hard to sort of pull off off that separate tracks you know because uh, it's like it's a sort of it's the way it all links together and that yes, it's, quite, yeah. it's quite a whole it's a package it is mm, in, it a pa- is. in a package it should be no. <laughs> <laughs> well gee thank you so much for your time Pleasure. Um, good luck with it. Um, not that you need it. I think it's going to be a it's going to be a good time. And um, okay. I'll speak to my promoter friends down here. And um, who knows? Maybe we can get you to sign yourself in in Cape Town soon. Yeah, yeah, that'd be interesting. Yes, if nothing else. Yeah, we have good <laughs> we have we have good wine. <laughs> yes, <coughs> and we and we have the and we have the mountains. So there we go. Right. Oh, well, that's <laughs> Those two things sound appealing. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Okay, well, thanks a lot. It's a pleasure. Have a good day. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Bye.